Hi guys, so today I'm here to do a review for series one of the show Outpost. Um, I finally decided to go ahead and check out the show after doing a series recording. Um, it came out in August this year I believe and I think it's on sci-fi. So it's a 10 episode series following a character called Talon. She is the last survivor of the black blood race and she realises upon, you know, life experiences that she has superpowers and that helps her get started on her quest for revenge obviously trying to get back at the people that slaughtered her village and made her the last of her kind I suppose it gives like a strange mixed feeling like a Viking medieval blend of a vibe <laughs> so I'd maybe say it was set around that sort of time period although it doesn't really say anything specific about you know dates and years and such but like a fantasy sort of medieval time I suppose but just in case you want to picture it it also gives me sort of Game of Thrones vibes in a sense as well for example um, aspects like the Night Watch kind of reminds me I feel like it mimics that sort of feeling in this show with some added Pirates of the Caribbean-esque music so it's a bit of a blend of everything oh apparently the main actress was in Pirates of the Caribbean so there's that. So I'd say this is a bit of a shell of a show really that combines all the aspects that make a fantasy drama popular. However, I just don't think it's executed in the greatest way. <laughs> it also seems to be set in the very beginning, at least our first episode, what I describe to be like a fictional Irish um, like village, I suppose you'd say. I wonder if this sort of thing actually has any roots in terms of fairy tales and folklore, or if it is just made up and that sort of setting was just thrown in there to create something different, I don't know. However, yeah, as I mentioned, it did disappear after like the first, I think it was the first 20 minutes of the first episode actually, which was sad. I would have liked to explore a bit more of that. So it was featured more in like the time of what it was like before the massacre of Talon's people, before she decided to go on this mad, murderous hunt for the people that did this to her. So in terms of genre, I'd describe it to definitely be like action fantasy. But obviously I was pretty interested um, when I did see the trailers of the TV show and that made me want to um, series record it and eventually check it out. However, the first episode, aside from the bit that I liked about the little village, um, it just had me feeling really lost. <laughs> we were chucked right into it and it just felt super cringe. So it wasn't, sorry, I had my confusions there. It wasn't the first 20 minutes that had that nice aspect that I enjoyed. It was a little bit later on, but it was only for a short period. I think if I remember correctly the first 20 minutes in fact was about Talon now um, and I just found the main actress for her to be unnecessarily smouldering and it just made me feel like weird like why is she looking like that do you know what I mean like it was very almost uncomfortable <laughs> I don't know maybe that's just me like it looked like she was constantly posing which I mean cool if that's your sort of thing you do you boo but we need more of like realistic expressions if you want a, like an empathic audience I suppose and I just wasn't connecting to her because of the in my opinion sillier odd expressions you know i do like that we learned about black bloods which of course is talon's sort of race species um almost instantly they have these really interesting ears obviously they have black blood and they're entirely hated by humans who inevitably slaughtered her village which of course is the source for talon's revenge and basically the main lead for the plot's um direction Again, this is something we find out very quickly in episode one. And I definitely say it is the driving force um, of the story's development. So I've already discussed a bit about how I feel about Talon. Um, in terms of the other characters, I'd say they're mediocre at best. Gwyn I found particularly irritating. Janzo is a mix of adorable but also like bloody weird. <laughs> but there was still something that kept me wanting to see what would happen next although i would say if there is a season one i wouldn't necessarily series record it again nor would i rush to find out what happens next so soon even though in saying that i was really drawn by the finale by that point i invested myself into it and i cared you know i actually was just really happy to see lindsay sterling in one scene i was like hold on a minute pause this this is lindsay sterling if you don't know i love lindsay sterling she's an awesome like violinist magical being she has a youtube channel and she's one of the reasons why i wanted to learn the violin 
there's that i would say if you've seen the trailer and it doesn't at least spark some sort of interest in you to watch it i'd say there's no point starting it i wouldn't convince you one way or another there are some sloppy awkward clunky fighting scenes and the acting wasn't the best but if you can overlook all these for the first season of a new series it was decent and i will say you know it did get better as the episodes went on at least in my opinion it did you just need to persevere if you have the time and patience for that um so overall it's one of those shows that was just like eh i liked it eh i could have done without seeing it but you know i'm left a little bit so so on it so in terms of star rating i decided to give it a three stars it's okay could be better hell yes could be worse hell yes one of those in the middle sort of slightly warm slightly cold shows so let me know if you've seen outpost and what you thought of it if you've got similar vibes like i had um are you hoping that series two brings more i don't know more of a connection um to feel for the characters more of an intense plot that you care about more because i would definitely be interested to see a lot of improvements it, you know it definitely has promise um but we'll just have to wait and see you know if season two is any better whenever it comes out <laughs> so thank you so much for watching enjoy the rest of your day and i'll speak to you in another video soon bye